How do medical practitioners and those in their care know which drug will work best? Of course, clinical trials are a vital part of answering this question. Under the right circumstances, trials provide very helpful evidence to decide which treatments are preferable. But it's not always that simple. There are many reasons why a trial might not be held. Health risks, for example, mean that some groups are excluded from clinical trials. This is, in part, a result of the thalidomide disaster. In the 1960s, thousands of babies worldwide were born with severe congenital abnormalities, such as deformed limbs, all because thalidomide wasn't investigated by a proper clinical trial. While thalidomide meant that the safety of medicines had to be investigated by doing clinical trials, it also meant that those responsible for conducting trials became extremely reluctant to include pregnant women. And these days, pregnant women and children generally don't participate in clinical trials. So how can a medical practitioner make an informed choice about what drugs to give them, without feeling he or she could be putting the patient's health and their own job and reputation on the line? Using older drugs in pregnancy, for example, safer, but perhaps less effective. We believe clinical trials are only part of the story. Mechanisms are vital too, but neglected. For example, it was known at the time that the thalidomide molecule was small enough to cross the placenta and hence affect the developing embryo. While clinical trials look at what happens when a drug is taken, mechanisms describe why it happens. We believe medicine needs to take into account different types of evidence, not just clinical trials, but data, laboratory results, patient case studies and expert testimony to build a wide-ranging picture of how and why a drug works the way it does. It's only by bringing together different types of evidence, including trials and mechanisms, that you can really understand if one drug is better than another, and in fact, if a drug is suitable for use at all. EBM Plus, improving the way in which evidence-based medicine handles evidence of mechanisms. Visit ebmplus.org to find out more.